Hey everyone, my name is Ilian and I'm going to show you the basics of TestStudio's WPF test recorder. Enjoy! After you have created your first TestStudio test, you would like to record your first steps. I will show you how to do that. Once I have opened my test, I hit the record button in the top left corner. If you haven't configured the application under test path, a configuration window will automatically pop up. You can also open this one from the Configure button. Here you can browse an application executable or select one from the list of opened WPF applications. Once this is done, the application is launched with the Test Studio's test recorder attached to it and displayed on top. You can move it around and switch between vertical and horizontal mode. The other options are to turn on or off the highlighting, to pause the recording, to open the advanced recording tools and to go to the online documentation. When Test Studio is in recording mode, all the actions are being recorded as steps in your open test. Mouse clicks, keyboard typing, drag and drop and any other action that the user does. In order to have a fully functional and efficient test, I would like to add verifications as well. They are needed for two main reasons. To compare the actual behavior of the application under test with the expected one and to make sure that the application is under the right and expected conditions so the automated test can go on without script errors. I will turn the highlighting on and all visual objects or as we call them elements, are being displayed. From the menu that appears, I can add the most commonly used test steps, verifications, weights, clicks, and many more. From the build step option, I open the advanced recording tools, where I can find a lot more verifications and actions that I can add to my test. From validations of element existence, to verification of its style and even some powerful OCR features that let you extract text from your images and compare whole images as well. From the DOM Explorer tab, obviously you can explore the visual tree of the application and use it as another way to choose elements to work with. The Common Steps tab provides the ability to add execution delays to change the application's window state, to capture screenshots and other. Now I have recorded few steps and they have been added to my test. I can run them, edit them or add new ones. That was a basic guide how to use Test Studio's test recorder. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and bye.